So I'm going to play a piece by Bach. A, it's one of his uh, sonatas, um, number two, sonata number two, in A minor. Um, this is going to be the fourth and final movement of the sonata. <laughs> um, well, in my class, there isn't anybody really who plays violin. So. Well, um, the more you play it, um, the more your like fingers remember it. For me. How did you make the notes loud and soft? Um, mostly just bow speed and. Uh, So if you play that opening phrase, you played it first loud and then soft. So maybe you can see the difference. Did you see right? what happened with this bow? How he used it a little differently? Yeah. Okay. Well, so I
you notice that he was changing the loud mm-hmm. and soft? Because I was going to ask you if you notice how much more interesting that sounds if you change the dynamics. If you played it all at the same volume, it wouldn't have been as, as awesome, would it? You have to have that in there. So that's what, why we look at that in our music when we play it. Because it makes it more interesting to listen to. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> start out slow, huh? Yeah. yeah. Just like all of you guys probably, he had to start out one note at a time. Did you want to do it or did you want to do it? Was there a point like after you played for a couple of years where you said, wow, this is fun and I'd like to keep doing it? And then you did it more independently without your parents? Um, Can, can 